All right, so we have our genetic testing results back. We sent our 10 embryos off for pre-implantation genetic testing, um, and we have six normal embryos, which is wonderful. That's more than I was anticipating. Um, statistically, at age, well, I was 34 when we uh, harvested the eggs, at least 40% of your eggs are going to be abnormal, so that added right up to kind of what we thought. Um, of the four that were abnormal, some of them are actually still usable, though. So we had one embryo that was a low mosaic, meaning that some of the cells that they sampled were normal and some of the cells were abnormal. Um, and with a low mosaic, that means the majority of the cells were actually normal. So euploid and not an abnormal number of chromosomes. Um, the second abnormal embryo was a high mosaic. Um, so again, some normal, some abnormal cells, uh, but, but mostly abnormal cells or uh, not euploid cells. Um, euploid just meaning the correct number of chromosomes. Um, but she, the nurse said sometimes they will uh, transfer high mosaic embryos and sometimes you do get a healthy baby. So that is still one that could potentially be used. Um, hopefully, though, we don't need to. Um, one of the embryos that was abnormal had no DNA and I didn't even realize that was possible, but th that one's definitely not usable. The fourth embryo came back with non-informative genetic testing. Um, and to me, that just means that something didn't go right with the biopsy because they said they could potentially re-biopsy that embryo. But again, hopefully we don't need to. We have six genetically normal embryos, which is wonderful. Um, the nurse told me, actually, she called me at the end of the day and she was like, you have the best numbers out of everyone I called today. So I will let you guys know once we have a transfer date. Um, the nurse also set me up for a follow-up appointment with our doctor, um, which is going to be on August 23rd. And, and actually when they had called to schedule that appointment, um, they had said they were booked out until September 8th. And then with my work schedule, it was looking more like S September 13th. And I was like, ugh, that's a month away. You're really going to make me wait a month. And she said, well, let me see what I can do. And then, um, she said, well, I can get you in on the 23rd at noon. So I suspect that's over uh, my doctor's lunchtime. So I super appreciate that. That's really nice of them. So, um, if you're new, my name is Jess. I'm a certified nurse midwife and I'm an infertility mom on an IVF journey. We're getting ready for frozen embryo transfer. Um, hopefully that will be at the end of September, but if you want to follow along on my IVF journey, or if you want to learn more about infertility, recurrent pregnancy loss and pregnancy after 35, then um, go ahead and like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video.